Thank you for viewing today. My name is Sherry White, and I'm from Fountain of Life Ministries International. And I'm here today in front of a huge boulder that is called the Shaking Rock. And this, this boulder is perfectly balanced uh, that even uh, with your hand, uh, you can move it and it will not uh, fall off. But I'm here today to talk to you about a rock that cannot be moved. You know, King David in the book of Psalms, in, in several of the Psalms, Psalms 18, uh, Psalms 61, uh, Psalms uh, 78, uh, Psalms uh, 82, I believe, he talks about his rock and the rock that it was his fortress and his uh, deliverer. He says, Oh God, you are my rock. Uh, you are the one who has brought me out of the miry clay and has set my feet upon a rock and established me. You know, and this is what uh, I want you to focus on today is that Jesus is your rock. He is the chief cornerstone. Ephesians 2.20 says that he is the chief cornerstone uh, for the body of Christ, for the church. And, um, you know, builders put... Um, uh, something uh, in a corner as they're building a building uh, that will uh, bring blessings to that to that building. And Jesus brings us blessings, and He brings us promises uh, that cannot be taken from us. You know, uh, King David said, "Oh, you're my defense." You know, when I need someone to defend me, uh, you are my rock of defense. Uh, he also said. Uh, you are uh, the place where I can go and, and hide myself. You know, and in, uh, I believe it's Exodus uh, 33, uh, God said to Moses, Moses, I have a place for you in the cleft of the rock, a place right by me uh, that will be your hiding place, that will be your resting place, that will be your place of safety. You know, when we are in trouble... We can run to Jesus. We can run to the Word of God because that's our answer right there. That is who we depend on. Not a rock that is shaking like behind me, but a rock that is established, a rock that cannot be moved uh, by any uh, of the circumstances that are going on in the world or circumstances that are going on in your family or in your marriage or in your ministry. Uh, Jesus Christ is the rock that cannot be shaken, cannot be moved. You know, it also says in 1 Samuel that honey comes out of the rock. You know, there's a scripture that says, Taste of the Lord and see that he is good. You know, and, and Jonathan, King Saul's son, um, uh, found, uh, found this honey and he put his rod uh, into the rock and the, the, the honey gushed out, and he tasted of it, and his eyes were enlightened. He said, now I can see. You know, and that's what happens when we go to the Word of God, uh, and, we, and we say, oh, Jesus, you are my rock. I need to hear from you. I need to, to be established. I need to be settled uh, in this matter. And he will give you honey from the rock. He will pour it out on you, and it will taste so good. Taste of the Lord and see that He is good. But Jesus is our rock, our fortress, our refuge, that we can run into that hiding place and find safety. If you need safety today, just call upon the name of Jesus, and He will come and He will be your rock, and He will establish you. I pray for those that need healing in their body, that you be healed that you be delivered. Let him be your rock if you have some emotional issues and one day you're up and the next day you're down. Let him be your rock. Let him establish you uh, in your mind. I pray for those that just need a settling and just uh, to come into the fullness of what God has for you. Depend on the rock, Jesus Christ. Thank you for viewing.